taking a look at question number 21 from our 5.5 homework. So we're practicing factoring expressions. So to do that, we have to find the greatest common factor. Um, so we're going to take 180 and we're going to make a factor tree. So we have 100 minus 80 and we're going to make trees for both of those. 100 is the same as saying 10 times 10. Neither of those are prime, so I'm going to break my 10 down into 5 times 2. Both of those are prime. Same thing with this 10, 5 times 2. Both of those are prime. So that would be my front prime factorization for 100. It would be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now we're going to do the same thing for 80. I know that 80 is um, 4 times 20. I'm going to break down 4 into 2 times 2. Those are both prime. 20 breaks down into 5 times 4. 5 is prime. 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. And that's my prime factorization for 80. So we have 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 minus, we still have subtraction going on, then we're going to write down the prime factorization for 80. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And it's always good to double check that those multiply to equal the number that you thought. You know, 2 times 2 is um, 4, and 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 25 is 100. Um, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 2 times 5 is 10. 8 times 10 is 80. So I'm doing good there. Now I'm going to look and I'm going to group whatever they have in common. So I notice that they both have two twos and a five. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, two twos and a five. That's what they have in common. That is going to be their greatest common factor, two times two times five. That is what I'm going to put in the front. I'm going to factor out of the expression. Okay, so in the front, we're going to write two times two times five. That's what we pulled out. In the parentheses, we're left with whatever is left here. So 5 minus, oops, 2 times 2. And then we're just going to simplify it a little bit from there. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So we have a 20, sorry, we have a 20 out front. And then in the parentheses, we have 5 minus 2 times 2 is 4. So this is the factored expression. Okay, so we factored 100 minus 80, and we made it 20, and then in parentheses, 5 minus 4. And we could distribute just to make sure that our answer makes sense. 20 times 5 is 100, and 20 times 4 is 80, so that's the same as saying 100 minus 80. Um, and that is it for question number 21. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.